Hey, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta, and we're levitating. A teenager in Alabama was just enjoying a sleepover with his friends like any good 15-year-old does. You know, your grandparents are out of town. One of your friends decides to use their house as a sleepover. You invite a bunch of your friends. Eight of you just chill, watch some movies, and pass out late into the night after eating pizza rolls and pizza bagels and, and pizza. Man, I miss sleepovers. You want to sleep over tonight? Yeah. Will it be weird? Probably. Cool, see you at eight. So a few of the boys decided to be funny and prank the others by pretending to break into the house. Colbert County Sheriff Ronnie May stated, one of the young men cut the lights to the house, then a few of the other guys snuck back inside. One Wanting their friends to believe there was an intruder. The boy, named Jesse Rainey, jumped out of a closet, startled one of his friends, who fired a gun at Rainey's head. His friend shot him in the head. Now Rainey is still alive, but he is unfortunately in critical condition. The shooting was deemed an accident and there won't be any charges pressed. And no, there was no alcohol or drugs involved. This was just boys being boys, with a gun in the house. But this is where it gets interesting. Because the Alabama house was impossible for dispatchers to find because it was out in the middle of freaking nowhere, Rainey's friends put him in the back of a pickup truck and drove him to a convenience store, which is where they met the medical team. Like that part in the Avengers, where Loki was in the back of the pickup truck? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, not. This was probably a prank that went terribly wrong, at least that's my opinion. And also the sheriff's opinion, who stated, this was a prank that went terribly wrong. There's probably some argument here for gun control, or for kids being dumb, or for not having sleepovers without adult supervision, or for not pulling pranks on your friends, or for not staying in houses that dispatchers can't find, or for a bunch of other things. But for me, this just sucks, okay? Now, for the rest of their lives, these kids are gonna tell stories about that one sleepover where Jesse got shot in the head. So be careful out there, guys. If you're gonna pull pranks, ensure your target doesn't have access to a gun, but don't stop having sleepovers. For real, okay? Those things are fun. And one day you'll wake up and realize you're too grown up to have a bunch of your friends over for junk food and fun. And then you'll be sad. Hmm. Tell us the craziest thing you've ever done while hanging out with your friends in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, click the annotation for more videos, or go to sourcefed.com for bloggy type news. And pay attention tonight on this channel after the debates because Phil and Elliot are going to be covering said debates. So 8 o'clock for the sleepover? Yeah, or 7 or 6. I'm free all the time. Alright, cool.